So first things first, as always guys, we're gonna moisturize, we're gonna prime our skin, and we're going to correct. The moisturizer I'm using is Proactive, the primer is Smashbox, and the color correcting kit I'll be using is from NYX. I love using these three products in conjunction because they protect my skin from breaking out and they hide any blemishes that I may have. The primer is especially good because it's color correcting and it also helps to smooth out pores. Next up, I'm gonna go in with some setting spray. I'm gonna spray that on my Beauty Blender sponge so I can blend out any product I may have left over on my skin. For my skin today, I'll be using my Graftobian palette and I'll be going in with three colors to highlight and contour. I'll be using two colors in particular to highlight. And this is going to help your eyes to look extra high and make the center of your face extra popping. So as you can see, I'm going in with my second color and that's really gonna up the definition when it comes to my face. Now I'm going along the sides with my skin tone and I'm filling out the areas of my regular skin tone color. Now I'm going in with a slightly deeper tone and I'm bringing that all around the edges of my face and my nose to add back some definition and bringing some highlight around my mouth to kind of really pick up that kind of cat shape. Now I'm going in with Fashion Fair Teak and you know that's one of my favorite contour colors and I'm going in and I'm deepening up the sockets of my face. I'm going to contour my nose and my face and around my forehead. So to blend out, as always, I'm using several tools, starting out with my fingers just to get in those small spaces and really blend out those fine areas of detail. Now going in with a moist sponge, I'm going to further blend out and make this makeup look airbrushed. If you keep the sponge in a particular area, you'll have one area of the sponge that's light and one that's dark, and that's best for blending. Now I'm gonna go in with a pink dot brush as well and blend out my eyes. I really like this brush kit. It has really fluffy, very great blending brushes. So going back in with my fingers again, I'm just going to blend out any fine details. Now I'm going in and I'm doing this super high highlight, so that's taking a very pale color and just making more definition. So now it's time to bake, set, and protect, and I'm gonna bake my makeup, set it, and protect it from budging. I'm gonna start out by using Derm Blend, and that's just to bring down my center a little bit in tone. And now I'm going in with Banana, and I'm going to add those tiny bits of highlight to really make my face pop. Now I'm going in with Ebony, and that is a Ben Nye color, and I'm going all along the edges of my face to kind of bring back my skin tone and contour. Whatever I did in powder, whatever I did in liquid or cream, I'm gonna go back and do in powder to set it. Now I'm just blending and buffing. And now I'm gonna bronze my face. And this is my Lancome Dual Finish in 560 Cool, I believe. And I love this as a bronzing powder. So going in and defining my brows first to make sure that I don't do too extreme of a shape. I want this face to stay young and lifted and just very youthful. I'm just gonna go in and do most of the work in the tail of my brow and try not to weigh my brows down too much or, and try not to overdo them as well. So now I'm just gonna go in and add some lashes that are curly and not too long, but they do have a nice eye uh, framing ability because they have that nice curl to them. Now I'm just going to go in and add a lot of bottom mascara <laughs> and getting some on my nose. And I really like this because the fact that my under eye is so bright really lets my bottom lashes show. So I'm going to pile it up there. Now 
This is Untainted Spice. I just did a video on nude lipsticks, and this is from Maybelline Sensational Color Sational line, and I love this. With a brown liner, it just looks so pretty and natural, yet still polished and made up. Just a beautiful color. And I'm going to go in with Nude Lust in the center just to add a little bit more pop to the lip. For my blush, I believe that this is Love Thing. And I love this color blush because just like the lip color, it's really pretty and made up without being too harsh. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I want to thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I appreciate your support. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye, guys.